Well, the real trouble is standing at the anchor desk now. Ah, uh, <laughs> yes. Here he is. I just told him about his lantern. Uh, I, he talks about I a was lantern. I was Greek gear test. He always says lantern instead of lantern. <laughs> I've done a pretty good job. <laughs> I've done a pretty good job of it's losing great. my East Texas. No, I love it. I was it's born and raised I around. Never but most of the time that. I do okay, but I, every once in a while I let a five out instead yeah, of a yeah. five. I have oh, to kind of like watch that. that. I yeah. like your Texas twang. I know, twang. I have to. Mike Iskovitz says orange, and I'm like, ah. <laughs> Ross is just calling everyone out tonight. Wow, okay. No, it's great. It's great. It's great. I'll tell you, let's get to these numbers before we get into too many other uh, descriptions of our co-workers around here. But as we dive into this evening, be ready for a mild, let's just call it warm. It's going to be a warm and muggy night, uh, mostly clear on the skies, uh, but we're not going to be able to cool down. We're going to be looking at those temperatures barely dipping into the upper 70s for those lows tomorrow morning right before sunrise. Now, to today's high temperatures, we're going to put down 97 officially. Uh, uh, but we did have some folks uh, that were up uh, in the mid 90s for the most part. If you're right along the coast, that water moderated it just enough to keep you in the lower 90s. Now, something we're going to be noticing as we move through the weekend is the progression of some haze in the skies from some Saharan dust. So this is the Caribbean. We're watching this large batch of dust kind of move into the Gulf of Mexico. And then as we get into Sunday, you can see maybe the bulk of it's going to be a little bit to the southwest of Houston, but still plenty around, especially once we get into Monday, we'll be having plenty of that hazy kind of conditions setting itself up around uh, the Houston area area as well as southeast texas now again kind of on that discussion of the tropics we've been watching this area for potential development this is invest 94 l it's would to be developed into something once it gets into the gulf but as we've seen the pattern it will stay to our south it's not going to move up uh, to the north and really impact us as far as rainfall is concerned now what is new though from the national hurricane center is tropical depression 2 that is this area right here but we're already getting things lined up two more tropical waves behind that uh, even that they're not ready there yet but they're still just sort of progressing as we've already begun this parade that normally is something that happens more in the August time frame instead of here at the end of June but here's tropical depression too uh, it is expected to become a tropical storm uh, tomorrow and that would be is when it gets its name barrel will be the name of it and this will probably be our first hurricane of the season as barrel is expected to get into the Caribbean. The conditions are pretty ripe there for further development as it starts to get into the Caribbean. And then as it starts to get to the western side of things, probably not going to be able to stay as healthy and will probably fall apart a little bit. But that's a pretty far way out, so we'll see how that all develops. We always have more time to talk about the tropics on our tropical discussion that takes place on our YouTube channel as well as fox26houston.com. Every day a little bit after 4 p.m., even on the weekends, I'll be here a little after 4 p.m. giving those updates. We got a lot of time to kind of look into things. Weather where you live, we've got upper 80s right now, 89 in spring, champions at 88 as well. Navasota is sitting at 85 degrees. If you're in League City, you're looking at 83. Down on Galveston Island, current temperature 86 degrees. So for the record books, we're normally about 93. We're going to keep above that in our forecast for a while, and we're really not getting close to our overnight lows. We're going to be again in the upper 70s or either in the lower 80s uh, right about 80 degrees is, is what we're looking for for our low temperature for this evening and then tomorrow we'll do a, a situation similar to today with those isolated storms most of us not seeing any rain maybe not even aware that there's any rain in the area at all but we'll be getting even drier less coverage overall for the rain when we get into Sunday that haze will really be building in quite a bit and then Getting close to that 100 degree mark. I wasn't quite ready to put a 100 in the forecast, <laughs> oh. but we might hit one because mm -hmm. we're definitely in the neighborhood. It already feels like it. Uh, right. Yeah. Totally. Definitely. So yeah. what's the difference? Thanks, right. JD. <laughs>